this is Modern Fossil. I'm Mac. I am Darren, and, and this, we're doing some justice to all. Case two. Let's get to it. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, the way this channel works, we try to be fun, exciting, entertaining, provide voices, commentary, whatever that is, to games I've never played and Darren has. I don't yep. play games. Darren does. Yes. That's what we're doing. All right. Starting case two of Justice for All. Here we go. With Union and Turnabout. That was no accident. That was drugged with sleeping pills. That was murdered by that person. Holy shit. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Any? I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. That wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. What the fuck? I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. Oh, so this is before the last case? Yeah, this is two months before. Ooh, gotcha. First case. Well, we know she gets off. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get executed. What the pressing ring? Do you understand how depressed that makes me, do you? I guess. But actually, more than I have been depressed, I'm angry. Angry at the weather girl on TV. I think our little raining spell will take a break. Of, uh, we'll take a break with a day of sun. Is that what, it's what that girl said? Stick my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. Damn, calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Um, about your case, unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, but that we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I, I heard you. I, I agree. It's, 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 it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, I'm not listening good. And yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her two wrongdoings. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash! Crotch! It's only transforming the car into an accordion model. That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. <laughs> 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, doctor, and focus 
more to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple. Because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic! You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. I have a... You know this girl, correct? <laughs> Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes. Am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not sure quite sure of that. Well, we worked a few trials together. She went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm not... You must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that... famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling! I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed! Oh... Maya... I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright! She said she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? So I'm taking you hostage! Oh. And this is uh, why I've stitched you out! You want to see her too, don't you? And so... That is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the dock. So this is Crane Village, Maya's hometown. What the fuck? Why, hello there. Hello there. <laughs> hello there. Hmm. What an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm? Someone else is coming this way? Nick! Maya, how, how are you? It's it's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's, it's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well, anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> ah, it's good to see this uh, tarnished badge again. What do you mean by tarnished? Well, look, this badge is like every other. It's bound to lose its color and shine after years and years. But you know, polishing up once in a while wouldn't be a bad idea. Looks like you finally found... Looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Ha ha ha! Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, uh, 14 people died because of a malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And they pinned the blame on the nurse. He killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this 
my intelligence network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard it all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazy killer as a client. It's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Grain Village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Yeah, interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Plus my ancestors would, too. I think. That's probably true, since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of the village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly. Pearl Fey. She's my cousin. This is she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. But was a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Ah, it's not you. I don't drill that to into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. What an idiot. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. Of course not. Pearly's my aunt's most valued treasure, but she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Crane Village. Aunt. Aunt. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Pearly's mother's my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. <laughs> well, Nick, I feel I gotta get going. It's about time to, for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. All right. Good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Ah, Mr. Vett. I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Uh, aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl! Maybe they made the one call again! It will rain cats and dogs today! She said it with a straight face! I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves! Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. You, Mr. Vart. I have a copy for you, too. Guideman! Fey, Fey Manor! A, a diagram, diagram of, of Fey, Fey Manor. Manor! Look! Here's my attorney's badge! Are you trying to compete with me? And my profession with that piece of scrap? Uh... I am a surgeon! Compared to you lawyers, I'm practically a saint! Yes, well, I don't exactly have any patience right now. But, but listen good! I'm not the one that made that mistake! This doctor needs his head examined. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna have him write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I have him write this. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry, and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have her right! With a confession, the vein falling on my soul can finally stop! Oh, I see. Uh, first let me not move. Piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably, uh esoteric knowledge only mediums would know hmm let's see here's one in English it says a hundred ways to save money being a medium sounds like a rough way of life 
So, how did you hear about Maya Faye? I heard that about her from my acquaintance. A girl studying their cult at the college. A girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Crane School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is a daughter of the Master, I hear. Master? Anyway, you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? I guess we're uh, leaving. Uh, let me check a couple things. Wow, this manor is really nice, don't you think? You honestly think this place is all that impressive? Don't make me laugh. Huh? This is the countryside! Land here is dirt cheap! I will have something much greater one day. I will build my own, build my own grand mansion. Did you hear me? A grand mansion. This manor will seem like nothing. Uh, could you keep that shaking fist away from my face? Thanks. Oh hell yeah! It's a sex dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights, I guess they're candles? Yeah, no shit. Good sir, who might you be? Ah! Uh, 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 I'm, uh, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, uh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? She talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you have too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you've already forgotten. How was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistance? Would surely not have won. First, a girl that runs away. Now, an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Uh, thank you. Good sir! Ah! We would like to begin the channeling at 3 o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make preparations? Um, sure. Go ahead. She's a fay, all right. Just as odd as the rest. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Yes. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be adjusted by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh... Is this the blood? It is the blood, fuck. You're gonna fucking spam me for that. What did you s I didn't even- what did yeah. you fuck up on? Uh, I, it isn't, I said. Oh, yeah. damn, you could've got away with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need more time to look at stuff. It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she's the only one remaining. Holy shit. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck do you think it's supposed to mean, Phoenix? <laughs> Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Korean channeling technique. Okay. Then, where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I... Clam? <laughs> I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Korean school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame. However, I will admit, 
I can not even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the Master's. So that's how it is. Uh, yep. All right, and I'll tell you how it is. On the next, next episode. episode of Modern Fossil Phoenix Right Ace Attorney Justice for All, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell. It'll do everything. Everything. All of that, guys. Support the f fucking channel. Come, come Just do on. it and comment below a uh, different punishment. We've been doing. Yep. The water bottles water. for a long time. A long time, yeah. And just give us some comments and we will we will listen. Yep. Uh, love you, stay sexy.